Hello, welcome to Coco's Crochet. This is Coco and I'm Litza and we're here with a mini yarn haul. Coco's going to have her apple now for dessert. I'm just going to pop her down while she enjoys it. Bye bye. Here you go. Thank you for joining us for a very impromptu video. It was definitely not on the plans, but I couldn't resist to share our latest yarn haul with you. I received an email today from Spotlight telling me that I had a voucher for, with a $40 credit if I spent $100 in store. And I thought, oh, okay, let's see what's on offer. And as I scrolled through, the yarn was up to uh, between 30 and 60% off, but generally most of it was 50% off. So as I was scrolling through to see which yarns um, in particular were on sale, I came across the mill ends. Now, mill ends are one of my favorite ways to buy yarn, and um, generally they're $12 at, um, before the sale, and today they were down to $6 per bag. So it was very, very um, easy to build up to the $100 because I like to buy anywhere between 10 and 20 bags when I go, um, and that way I have a very healthy stash you know, for whenever I need it. And then, you know, I work with it and, you know, come up with little projects. But um, this time round, I thought, um, because I'm making all the little loveys, it would be a good opportunity to buy some more of the velvet yarn if I found it, to team it up with a lot of the um, solids that I have. And I was also looking for red. Unfortunately, I didn't find red, but I did find some other great um, colors that I'd like to share with you. So in total, um, I'll tell you about my savings first, and then I, you know, I will show you the yarn um, in, you know, a very short time. So basically, what I bought today were um, 15 bags of mill ends, and for those 15 bags, the original price would have been $180, but because they were half price today at $6 per bag, I paid $90 for those. Well, no, I. I would have paid $90. And then I also bought some Ogos. Now they were um, ticketed at $12 um, per Ogo. Um, and that would have been, well, I bought 10, so that would have been $120. But today they were reduced to $3. So that was $30. So in total, my spend today would have been 30 plus um, the 90, which would have been $120. And then take away my $40 voucher. For all this yarn that I will show you, I only paid $80. Now, the original price for all of them would have been $300 um, without the sales and without the voucher. So a saving of $200 is actually, you know, very impressive. And I'm so happy that I went along today. So I will, you know, show you what I did buy and how I, you know, feel that it would be a nice way to team it up. But then again, my plans might change completely. But for the moment, I had a very quick look at my um, stash at what I already have. And I thought I could team it up with this, these, you know, different colors. So I purchased two bags well so before i start i might give you some stats all of these millen bags say that they're 400 grams made in india that they are high-end yarns but it's the end of the run so you know obviously that's why they've popped them in little millens and i have no issue with that at all um it does say to use cold water and to lay flat to dry so Orange, country of orange for all of them, as I said, was India. I've just checked the packs. They have changed the packaging slightly, but, you know, what's inside is what counts. So this is one of the first ones that I purchased. I might actually just open it up very quickly to show you what's in here because, you know, you'll get a better idea of the colour. And um, I've got two bags of this. So I've got 800 grams of this. Oh, I just love this. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous colours? And then in my stash, I had a, I have a couple of bags of this colour. It's like a Barbie pink. So matching them together. I would love to find a green and a blue that matches. And I'm pretty sure I would have some uh, available. But at the moment, I just didn't want to waste any more time. Because it is getting quite late in the evening. And I just wanted to make sure that I got on to show you guys. So that's the first... Um, 
lot. So as I said, there were two bags of the, um, I guess it's variegated yarn and it's the velvet yarn, which I absolutely love. So that's that one. Then I managed to get one of these. I might just pop this one out of the bag as well. So this one is just the one bag. So that means I have 400 grams of this yarn. And I very quickly um, managed, oh, here it is up close. And then I've got this one, which I think would be a nice match to it. I also have some gray and a steel blue that might also work very well with that. So that's, you know, the other lot that I got. And then I got this beautiful one here, which I think is beautiful. The colors are very nice. They're um, blues and a little bit of a, like an apricot pink in there as well. And there are a variety of blues. So let me just pop this one out for you to have a little look at as well. To give you an idea there, see that's more of the orangey peachy color and then i've got this steely blue let's see i think that it would be a pretty good match but we can play around with that because i've certainly got um a few other lighter blues that might work better with it and this one i managed to get two bags of this one so let me just pop this one on the floor as well and then this one i absolutely love this one because all of you who have been with me for a little while know how much i love purple so i managed to get three bags of this one which is awesome so three fours are 12 so there's a hunt uh 1200 grams there so that's that's pretty good i might use this one to make a big project actually like a nice blanket like you know not a huge blanket but you know for a child oh my goodness i love this one so very 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 much i do have this blue that would go with it there's blue in there I'd love to add some black to it. And there's also a very pale pink, which I'm sure I do have. I don't think I have any purple though, but that's okay. I think maybe the lighter colors would be a better contrast with these. So um, I might save the, these three bags for a bigger project and use the other bags for small, smaller projects, including the loveys that I'm making. And then on the other side, I've got some yarns, which are, they're all uh, acrylic, but three of the bags are, they're all actually, none of them have more than one except for one. I'll show you at the end. So this one I think is gorgeous. So I I think with something like this, I could make like a beanie and a scarf set. It's got some beautiful colours in there. It is a um, twisted yarn. I'll show you that. And I'm not quite sure if it's roving or it just, it seems to be the same all the way through. It is quite thick. So I would say that it'd be at least a 10 or a 12 ply, which I'm guessing would make it a um, worsted or Aran weight, I'm guessing. So um, I will play around with the hook sizes to make sure that I get the right gauge for it. So when I make something, I'll definitely show you. And then I've got this again, a purple, which I absolutely love. This one I think is a roving yarn. Let me just cut it open for you. Oh yes, this one is definitely a roving because I can already see a thick and a thin piece of strand in there, but the color is beautiful. I've actually used something similar like this um, and I will show you in another video. I made um, a beanie and a nice like um, house coat or a cardigan out of it. Um, it was actually really nice and at first I was a bit worried about the because I hadn't worked with the roving yarn before but I absolutely loved it I really enjoyed it so I'll be able to make something with that and then this again again some purple let's see if this one has got the um if it's roving or just um the just the one ply all the way through this one's actually a lot thinner as you can see so this one is probably a dk weight or an eight ply and it seems to be the same all the way through but beautiful colors i i think so anyway so that's another bag of 400 and this one i just fell in love with this one so i'm sure i'll be able to make something 
um, with it. It's just the one bag. And again, I think it's just a just an acrylic. It feels nice and squishy. Nice colors. I really like the browns and the blues together. And another, uh, again, 400 grams. Uh, this one looks to me to be um, 12 ply, 10 ply. So worsted, is that the right term? I hope so. Or an Aran. Maybe not so thick as an Aran. Possibly more of a worsted. And then I've got this one. I just love the colours in this one. Let me just quickly cut it open so we can have a little look-see inside. So I'll grab a couple of balls because it will show you. So obviously that's on the outside and then that's on the inside. So um being at the end the mill ends they will vary like i've got this one as well sorry i went too fast there so this will give you an indication of the colors that are the mix in this bag and again this one seems to be like a 10 or a 12 ply very nice and very soft yarn it's got the beautiful flex through it i i love this i wish i had found more but unfortunately I only found one bag, but luckily I did find a bag, so I own this one. And then I have two of this one. Let me grab one of these. This one seems to be, just by looking at it from the outside, a DK weight or an 8 ply. Very nice colours. Um, soft, yes. Um, squishy, I think this would make something nice. Definitely on the um, skin, not as soft as all of the others that I've tried, but um, would definitely, you could make a wearable with this even, or a blanket of some sort. There's um, the thickness of it. So there's two bags of this, so that's 800 grams, which, you know, is a pretty reasonable amount to make a smaller project. And then um, with the Ogos, uh, you know that I'm in love with these. I can't believe these were $3 each. But this is a colour that I really, really liked. And I wasn't able to get too many of them last time. I think I only managed to get one. And I did say to myself that if I ever found this colour again, I would buy some. And I managed to get 10. So I'd like to make a big project with that. So this colour is um, Tabby. And it recommends using a 6.5 millimetre hook. It's 100% acrylic. Uh, 6.4 ounces, 180 grams, 228 yards or 208 metres. So I've got about 2,000 metres there. So I'm sure I'll be, make, be able to make something quite substantial with all my Ogos. I do have a whole bag here, but I won't take them all out now. So that's pretty much, you know, what we were able to bring home today. I did get a garbage bag full and it was spilling over when I brought it upstairs to my home from the car. Um, I really enjoyed uh, my little trip to Spotlight today. Like I said, very impromptu, but I thought I'd just run in and share it with you as well in case anybody, you know, um, was interested. If you're in um, Sydney or New South Wales, the sale I think is continuing for another week or so. So, you know, actually it's probably Australia wide. What am I saying? Spotlight is Australia wide. So, you know, if um, you guys want to, you know, check your online um, before you pop into the store and see what, you know, the sales are still going. But I think when I was quickly reading the little labels, I'm pretty sure that I did read that it's going on for at least another week. So that's really good. I don't know about the $40 um, credit though, you know, the little voucher that came through today. I'm pretty sure that was to be used in 24 hours. I could be mistaken, but check your emails. Make sure, you know, you don't miss out if, um, you know, you're in a position where you like to build your stash. I certainly love taking advantage. When I know that I've made a $220 saving, I am very, very happy with that. As we said not long ago in a previous video, you know, the price of yarn has steadily gone up, you know, quite substantially. So this has made me very happy because I'm able to continue, you know, with the projects that I want to make for family and friends and for myself. So when I start making them, I will certainly be sharing them with you guys. And um, I hope you've enjoyed our little yarn haul. It's been so much fun bringing it to you. Now I have the pleasure of trying to mix and match things and, um, you know, have the endless um, joy of trying to put it all together in all the various projects that I'll be able to make now. So as you can see from my face, I'm 
feeling a lot of joy right now. And thank you for once again letting me share it with you. I hope you're all well and that you've all had a lovely day. If your day is beginning, I hope you have a lovely day. Um, I certainly had a very busy day today. I'm about to get ready to have a nice cup of tea and uh, relax for the rest of the evening. I think it's time for my pyjamas, shower and pyjamas very, very soon. And um, I shall see you again in another video. As always, get in some crochet time. Um, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And just have a wonderful time. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.